Howdy, mates. Good evening. How are we all doing? It is... May 11th, 2023. I had to think about that for a second in terms of what day it was. It's Thursday. I'm actually over at the uh, Blanton Creek campground right now, which is actually near the town of Hamilton, Georgia. There's my little tent right there. I got a simple setup. It was, uh, it was a decent drive to get here from uh, all the way from Brevard. So it was uh, give or take a five hour drive. But hey, I'm just glad we made it. But uh, Hamilton is just a smaller town. The nearest larger city is Hamilton or Hamilton, Columbus, which basically we're only maybe like not even a mile away from the border of Alabama because granted, yeah, you are seeing a little bit of a lake right here, but just beyond this uh, tree line is the well-known Chattahoochee River. Now, for those of you who haven't heard of the Chattahoochee, it is a very prevalent uh, river that runs through Georgia and even parts of Florida, too. The Chattahoochee is one of the most important water sources in the state. You know, it literally supplies millions of people a water drinking source, especially for those who live in Atlanta. So, that being said, it's one of those types of rivers that does have Appalachian origin. So, it does have a collection of sediments. So, that being said, it kind of originates in the Piedmont region which is where you'll see some of the mountains that belong to Appalachia. And then you figure there is a portion of 38 miles where it literally drops 300 feet because you figure it's making that transition from the Piedmont region to then more of the coastal plain, which is where elevation will drop and it will eventually meet with the Gulf of Mexico. Now, the cool thing is about this trip in particular is once the Chattahoochee reaches to the Florida-Georgia line, the name changes. Instead, this, this river that you can see way out there in the distance, the name will change to the Apalachicola River. And that is one of the only rivers in Florida that has a set of bluffs. And so, you know me, I'm a big fan of rivers, so I am very much looking forward to seeing what will be offered. Yeah, I will say for one thing, this trip has definitely been a recharge, most definitely. I've never done a trip like it. You know, granted, I've done it with other people or uh, or in someone else's car. But for me to basically do it completely on my own, just about, it's pretty cool. Tell you what, I mean, sometimes, like, granted, I like to do stuff with people. But every now and then, you gotta you gotta build that confidence in also traveling alone, but not lonely. Big difference. So, anyways, the Chattahoochee was also used by indigenous peoples, you know, especially the Cherokee. So it's let's just say it's an ancient river, and as a matter of fact, the river does host two species of trout. I believe one of them, if I'm not mistaken, was rainbow. But I will be sure to 
clarify, of course. And it's one of it's the southernmost river that does have trout. And also given the fact that it passes through urban environments, it's the only river that has such a feature. So it's another bonus. So all right, you guys. Take it easy. Enjoy the rest of your week going into your weekend and of course journey on a journey is onwards take care folks see ya